Well, it was quite the weekend with Mark Kern showcasing everyone's dirty laundry in the video game industry. And now a lot of people are fighting back. Well, we've got the Kotaku editor and we've got a few other places and people that want his head on a pike, but they also want him blacklisted from the entire industry. Well, before I get into the showcase here, please subscribe to the channel. This is what we do here now. We showcase the ridiculous, the inflammatory, and now it's apparently the Mark Kern show, the former lead for Blizzard's World of Warcraft. Well, we're going to dive into the controversy shaking the video game industry up. DEI consultancy NNE Saga has issued a bold call to blacklist former World of Warcraft lead Mark Kern. This is also being hailed with Eliza McCarnte, the, the senior editor for Kutaku. All because he cited inflammatory remarks shared on social media that people made on social media. Now it all began with Mark Kern's tweet showcasing screenshots of Lana's Rupert's, a prominent figure in the gaming circles, making contentious statements regarding race and Activision. Kern's move ignited a firestorm and Negi Saga, I believe that's how I say it right, swiftly responding, demanding that Kern be blacklisted from the industry and completely kicked out of it. Now, some might ask, who's Negasaga? Who are they? Well, this platform was co-founded with Black Girls Gamers founder, J. Ann Lopez. But of course, that's not what it says now. That was an archive that I have. It was founded in 2015 by Stephanie Ijoma. Ijoma? Uh, there was a dire need for change in the gaming space of course, and it was all about diversity, inclusion, and representation, and equity. This is where we are today. This is the video game industry as a whole. These are the people calling for Mark Kern to be ousted from the video game industry, all because he showcased someone's tweets calling white people bad, calling them absolute trash of people. It's absolutely disgusting and discriminatory. Now they're trying to shame Larian Studios and Twitch just for following Grums, one of the most influential people when it came to World of Warcraft. Imagine being cancelled because you followed someone years ago. Classic tactic, guilt by association, trying to isolate, trying to cancel, and of course the person that uh, he showcases here has now locked him. Uh, hey, mutuals following Grums, stop it. Really disappointing, especially if we talk. It's 2024, we don't follow people harassing others. To the Larian community manager and official Twitch following him, why? So this is, this is now going completely out there. It's absolutely disgusting to see this. Going out there, this, this is now a cancel campaign against Grumps. They're going to each of these studios and saying, cancel him. He, he, he showcased our tweets. He, he showed how much of a racist we are. He cannot be in the space anymore. He can't do any good. It's absolutely disgusting to see that these people are doing this. Grumps is a well-respected, well-known person in the industry. And when he's showcasing these tweets of people being complete jackasses and racist pieces of crap, and then you want to sit there and tell and say, no, he's not allowed to be in the industry. He can't be in the industry because he's not racist towards white people like we are. Really? That's the, that's the narrative you want to run with? That's the narrative you want to run with today. We're going to cancel everyone. I could care less that it's Larian. It's just, it's kind of funny at this point that now they're getting Larian Studios involved in all of this with everything I've talked about here in the past. And of course the train continues. Another DEI community manager, Virtue Signals, this time for Ubisoft. I can tell you from internal sources that Ubisoft is one of the most chilling DEI policed studios to work for. Nightmare for good devs just trying to make good games. Again, do not harass anyone and ask questions instead. So from Coots, here's another woke community manager that I found yesterday working on Star Wars Outlaws and uh, Avatars Frontiers of Pandora with their LinkedIn page where she wrote down all her responsibilities. And this is Shauna Jones. 
um ubisoft views are my own you know they keep doing this if you're a white dude complaining that diversity being raised is an issue then people are going to keep raising the lack of diversity until they see change this crap's got to change man yeah it's got to change it's got to stop natural diversity comes with great storytelling push diversity segregates it and creates these labels and creates the segregation that where everyone's fighting against each other and nobody wants that we all want to be one together we want to be one gamer together playing these games and actually including everyone which it's already there 3.3 billion people play video games on the planet how is that not already inclusive of it you're trying to prop one up for the other and this is where we go now adrian campos all i'm saying is that i've seen people get stomped out for less of course of course you've seen people get stomped out for less this is for cold iron studios another game developer uh going unhinged over grums showcasing the racist rhetoric that we are seeing that DEI has brought to the gamer space. Now, Grumps has made a pretty lengthy post here. What do community managers do and why do they actually matter? It's simple. A community manager sits on the boundaries of the dev team and gamers and thus holds most power in how a games community is shaped and policed. DEI, authoritarianism, activism, dream. I get asked this question a lot as we have uncovered time and again that community managers are majority DEI supporters. I wrote a thread about how activists in a private community manager group channels coordinate and bully and threaten and harass other CMs who dare ask questions. The roles varies from company to company and often consists of teams at larger ones here are some of the and some other tasks directly manages the posts to the company and game social media accounts x facebook instagram lead or assist the creation of user guidelines for community behavior and acceptable speech policies police the community enact and direct form discord bans warnings take down posts and threads that violate policies post to social media to help marketing promote a game and respond to users on social media monitor community and gamer trends noting important reactions to games including any design issue reported and filter summarize and report these to the development items itself this is why activists are attracted to community managers roles it is a great source of power to affect change you have to decide who talks who doesn't and why you get to police the community and bad as you wish and you remove threads and discussions with very little oversight you get to control the information both the message and the company to the public but more importantly what the devs think about the community this last part is crucial devs don't have time to sit reading social media or hang out in discord with customers they rely on reports by the community managers they are the go-between they are the people that is destroying this i've seen this in my job i have seen foreman in my job completely blackball a uh, job just to make it last longer but then they report what they report down at the lower level is one thing what they report to the higher ups is another they're the go-between and you've got to have a lot of trust and faith in between them but this is where the community managers are now. Now, in the rapidly evolving landscape, navigating issues of race activism and responsibility requires careful consideration. As the industry grapples with these complexities, one thing remains clear, the need for constructive dialogue and meaningful action. And that's where we are today. It, it's absolutely ridiculous to have to sit here day in, day out, talking about this stuff right now, how people are being racist, how the color of your skin at this point has become the narrative for design in these video games where they're shoehorning, they're replacing people because one person doesn't like the other person. It's absolutely disgusting. Anyway, I'm your product team, Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.